So all the rumors are true. Blancpain and Swatch teaming up on a 50 Fathoms. I have all the details. I have all the images of all five models that will be coming out. These are in bioceramic. They are dive style and they are modeled after the current 50 Fathoms. And they are also powered by a System 51. So stay tuned for all the details and images of these five watches. So as I mentioned in the intro, five watches for five different oceans. And of course, this is in the style of the 50 Fathom. So this is the collaboration between Blancpain and Swatch. And what they have done here is given us a bioceramic version powered by a System 51 automatic movement from Swatch. And this is in the style of the modern 50 Fathoms case. They're calling this the bioceramic scuba 50 Fathoms collection, and you are getting different colors for each one of those cases. All of them are on a NATO strap that is made out of recycled net material from the ocean. So as I mentioned, there are five different versions. There is the Arctic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, and the Antarctic Ocean. Now, all of these get different colored cases. However, what's similar between all of them is the fact that it is 91 meters deep. So this is a 50 fathoms watch, very similar to the original 50 fathoms. Also, all of them are getting super luminova. That's grade A super luminova. So these will actually have usable loom. So you can actually go swimming with this watch if you really wanted to. They are also using sapphire on these watches the case back is sapphire they're saying that they're using biosource glass for the bezel insert which is very interesting so this will be a glass insert on the bezel and then the crystal itself will be using that same material and then they're saying they're using sapphire on the case back so you do get a transparent case back where you can see that system 51 so not a lot of sense there but pretty cool also I believe that the case back on here is snapped on. I don't think it's a screwed in case back, but this is big news, big change from the Speedmaster that they came out with, the Moon Swatch, which was all one piece. This is not all one piece. Now, can that System 51 be actually serviced? Probably not. However, you will be able to actually change this movement. I believe that's how they're doing this. So if this does actually break, you will be able to swap out the movement on this watch, uh, which is a big step up from that moon swatch. There is a lot to like about these watches and they are coming in at $400. There are few made dials. Some of them have dates, some of them do not. I'm gonna go through some of the colors here. I'm gonna start with the Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is sort of a lime green color. You're getting a black to green Fume dial. You're getting a date on this version. It has the Blancpain swatch logo up at the top. It says Scuba 50 Fathoms down below. And of course the 91 meters or 300 feet. This gets a different sea slug for each one of the versions. So this gets a nudie branch. That's what they're called. Each one of them are different. They are basically sea slugs and that's what the colors are sort of inspired by. So this one gets one that is green and orange uh, and that goes with the case and the bracelet. Then there is the Antarctic. The Antarctic is in a white color, which kind of makes sense. You get blue hands. On this one at the six o'clock, it says scuba in a circle that is very similar to my logo, which is that moisture indicator that uh, vintage 50 Fathoms actually had. A few different versions had it. Uh, one that comes to mind is Torneck Rayville. That was one of them that actually had this uh, indicator on there. I'm not sure if this is functioning, probably not, but it looks amazing on here. You're getting a gray bezel insert. This gets a white dial with those blue hands. The NATO strap on this one is in a grayish color and has sort of a gray blue stripe down the middle. This again gets one of those nudie branches on the, and I don't know if that's the way you actually say it, but on the case back, it's actually printed on the actual glass, I believe. Uh, and of course, all the movements are actually decorated. They're printed on with the different oceans that are inspiring the watches themselves. Next is my favorite. This is the Atlantic Ocean. This one is in blue. So the case is blue, the bezel is blue, the bezel insert is a dark blue. You're getting a blue Fume dial. This one does get a date. I wish it didn't, but this is definitely my favorite. You also get a blue, gray, white NATO strap on this one. 
really beautiful watch. Uh, this is definitely my favorite. I think this will probably be one of the most popular. Very quickly before we do move on, I wanna talk about the case size here. These are all in 42.3 millimeters. Case thickness is 14.4 millimeters and the lug to lug is 48 millimeters flat. So really actually a very nicely sized watch, uh, very in keeping with what the 50 Fathoms is. It's around a 44 millimeter watch, a 43 millimeter watch. So this comes in just around that area. Uh, it leads me to believe that they'll eventually come out with a 50 Fathoms that is a little bit smaller. Hopefully that is the case. But 42.3, a very nicely sized case. I think a lot of people will enjoy this watch. Next is the Pacific Ocean. This one is in yellow. Again, all of these colors coming from those slugs that they're inspired by. However, this one gets a black bezel insert and a gray fume dial. So it starts out black and then it ends up gray towards the center. Really beautiful dial on this one as well. Gets a little bit of a yellow accent on the second hand, black hands on this. And of course you get the date. The date is between the four and five o'clock position. Again, in keeping with what you would normally get from the 50 Fathoms. The strap on this is yellow, black, and white. Uh, and again, all of these are recycled material straps. Last but not least, and probably my least favorite color combination out of the bunch, however, my favorite dial, this is the Arctic Ocean. This one gets a tan colored bioceramic case, bioceramic bezel. However, you're getting an orange insert. The dial is in that tan color. Again, this is a fume, so it's a very light fume from sort of a dark, grayish color to that tan color towards the center. And then you're getting a no radiations down at the bottom of the dial at the six o'clock, obviously inspired by the no radiations 50 fathoms. And like I said, all the hands and indices are filled with loom. And by the way, the bezels are also loomed on these watches, just like you would get from a 50 fathoms. Very impressive that they are doing this. And this is a $400 watch. Yes, this is on the more expensive side for a swatch. However, I really do think that they did some pretty good things with this watch. I know a lot of people are not happy about what they did with the Moon Swatch. Hopefully they can redeem themselves with this. However, this will be only available in stores again. So this will be a problem for people who want to get them that don't live near a store, number one. And number two, these will not be available online ever and they are non-limited editions. So eventually as they start to sell, uh, you'll be able to get these at stores at some point. Hopefully getting these out, maybe will loosen up some of the stock of the Moon Swatch for people who've been trying to get those. Who knows, I don't know, but I will definitely try and get one or two of these on the channel for review as soon as possible. I'll be trying to wait online again to get this watch. Who knows if I will be successful this time. Anyway guys, that's all the details. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think of these watches? I do wanna mention one other thing. It does have swatch on the side of the watch, on the left side of the watch, rather than Blancpain, which Blancpain do for all the 50 Fathoms now. Uh, so this does have that swatch on the side. I don't like that, but everything else here, I really do like. I think they did a really good job, especially for that $400 price point. Uh, this is a lot of watch for $400, in my opinion. It's yet to be seen. I've actually not had one in hand, but as it looks right now on paper, I think it does. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It's super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next video.